Welcome back to State of Tech, this is James here. I have another iPhone 5S quick tip for you. I'm going to show you how to use Touch ID. So right here on the iPhone 5S, if we were to lock our device, which I'll go ahead and do, and if I tap on the home button, I can now hold one of my fingers down and it's going to unlock my device for me. So the way that works is the home button now has a touch sensor inside of it and we can go ahead and set that up to read some of our fingerprints. So I'm going to open up our settings application, come into our general section, and then we're going to scroll down to where we see passcodes and fingerprint. So tap on that, it's going to ask me to enter my passcode, so I'm going to go ahead and do so. Now that I'm in here in my passcode and fingerprint section, you see I have fingerprints right here. So I'm going to tap on that and we have our touch ID options. We can use a passcode unlock on the lock screen and we can also use this to purchase apps and music or movies in the iTunes app stores. So right now I have fingerprints down here. I can have up to five fingerprints programmed into my phone and I can even rename each one of them. So right now I currently have four of my fingerprints. You see the right thumb, right index, left thumb, and left index. And I also have one fingerprint for my wife. So you can actually let other people program their fingerprints into your device if you want them to have access to it. Now being that I've already reached my limit of five, our add fingerprint section down here is grayed out to where I can't add a new one. I'm going to go ahead and hit edit and I'm going to delete my right index finger here. I'm going to tap on that and delete it and now I'll press done. Now you see add fingerprint is turned blue allowing me to add a new fingerprint. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on that and it's going to tell me place my finger on the home button and left and rest our finger there on the home button. You're going to feel the device vibrate once it lets you know and you need to lift your finger up off to the screen once it vibrates. You see it wants me to move my finger slightly in between each scan so maybe kind of rotate it around a little bit so that way it gets different reads of your finger. And the more accurate you are in the reading, so now I'm going to hold the device in my hands and maybe put it in a different motion. And so I'm going to continue programming my fingerprint here into the device. Now once it's completed, you're going to see the success window. And now we're going to go ahead and tap continue. And now you see I have finger five here in my fingerprints. Now if I tap edit in the top right hand corner, tap on finger five, I can go ahead and delete that and I can rename it whatever I want to. This one is my right index, so I'm gonna go ahead and rename it to that. We'll hit done, and then we'll hit done again, and now it's saved my fingerprint. So now if I were to come out to the little home screen, I'll go ahead and lock the device again, and I'm gonna go ahead and try my new finger, and you see now it unlocks my device. Now if I were to try any finger that's not programmed into my device, let's go ahead and try maybe my pinky. I'll try my pinky. You see I get this try again symbol down here in the bottom. If I do it again, it's going to say try again. Now if you don't have access to your um, thumbprint or anything like that, or you don't want to use the finger scanner here, you can always still slide to unlock and you can put in a passcode or you can even from this screen launch your fingerprint and go ahead and load up any of the phone. And the same thing is going to work if you have notifications in the lock screen. You're going to be able to swipe the notification, scan your thumbprint, and it's going to load you into the application itself. So you don't have to just lock to the home screen. You can use it just as you regularly would to launch applications from direct notifications on the lock screen. And that's how you're going to use Touch ID on the iPhone 5S.